Hello friends and hello students. My name is Ashok Sigal and in this session we learn the pointer of structure in C language. So I share my laptop screen and here fix the position so you can watch better by my video lecture. And here Turbo C++ I double click and take some process and now yes is uh, open. So alter F file menu open and taking new file and here our goal is write a program to print employee information using pointer of structure. Yes, so yes, let us take. So first question, what is a pointer of structure? So like array of structure, that same we can one dimensional array of uh, array of structure to assign to the pointer. So that is pointer of structure, we can say that. So yes, so here we can print employee information, you know, and that using pointer of structure. So let us start first uh, here. I our link section stdio.h and then here we can say that uh, console input on your dot h console input output and void main yes and then we can first declare the in between that is a global declaration section and struct is a keyword and emp that is our tag name or also name as a structure name and that uh, structure is a user defined data type. Yes. So let us take here. I define like employee ID, then BS basic salary, that is two integer, and then character 1D name of employee, that is a one dimensional array. So we can also say that array within a structure that points point is also over. And then float, yes. So DA, dearness allowance, HRA, house rate allowance, and GS, gross salary. So that is a all logical related data item, is a collection of logical related data item known as a structure. And different data type of collection that also known as a structure. So here, all about employee salary, that the ID name, basic salary, DHRA, and gross salary. And here that we can define the like a 1D array. So that is an array of structure. And then I define the pointer. So yes, uh, let us uh, how scan cannot assign static value. But uh, here first I clear the screen. And here we can take one integer i because that one for loop 1D array is uh, we have to. So that is you have to know we can take p equal to e so e is a array name and itself store the base address of that structure and here we can calculate how one record of employee requires the number of bytes so here id is an integer type so two byte plus uh, basic salary is a two byte so four byte is here so i directly write four byte and here this line 20 byte we can already uh, static uh, uh, 1d array uh, character 1d array name and then here 4 plus 4 plus floor because float data type da is a 4 byte hr is a 4 byte and gross salary 4 so total uh, 12 byte so round about 36 byte is stored in one record yes here 36 it is our one record of employee store and every there here we can print the three employee because we have to design the 1d array three uh, that size subscript so that is one DRA. And how we can uh, get the size of one record? So yes, I here print the size of uh, that one record. So here we can say that uh, one record that is also known as record or one employee. So percentage D and how print that is a size of operator and we can pass to like our EMP or like E of zero that is first uh, our uh, means 1D array element, okay, and that is a structure of array, and so we can assign directly E because E is a store the first byte uh, address of ID where ID start in compilation means that uh, allocate the block. So actually 36 byte. So we can say the first byte address store in E itself, and that known as a base address. 
So in array and pointer, that concept is a base address. So array and pointer is a co-related concept because array is a work in internal is a pointer and pointer work in internal is an array. So I my one video lecture, I print the ninth way one day array using pointer. So you can watch that video lecture, very important for your uh, understanding what is pointer and array concept. Okay, so here we can use the pointer and array also, but array is a structure type, structure of that uh, uh, variable. So we can say that array of structure and here pointer of structure. So we can assign the array of uh, structure to pointer variable. So that known as a pointer of structure. And now we can scan. Yes, so how the scan? So here we can give some message to outside the for loop. So here we can say that enter uh, employee. Yes, so employee uh, and then information. So we cannot write every time employee information, that type of. So we take one for loop and i is start zero. Yes, index start is always zero and then uh, i less than three and i plus plus. And we can scan to our member. Okay, so first uh, here we can give to let uh, enter ID because employee ID is not required because already we have to say employee information. So every time employee we can not write. So I give the outside for loop as an and we can also specify enter three employees because we have to fix three employee of size of one DRM. So yes, now here scan a function and here we can uh, scan percentage P and then M person and that is a not a simple variable pointer so we cannot use dot operator but arrow operator use so that is arrow because pointer is there and we can pointer of uh, structure use this concept so yes here id we can scan and then i just copy and paste two time because that name and then all are scanned so here we can scan the name of uh, employee and that is a 1d array so we can use the get s because that also string so p of name uh, and arrow yes arrow operator and that uh, uh, get f uh, get s when we can use sometime that uh, directly jump to our basic salary means next page so here that like we can enter the basic salary so that name is skip and directly jump to basic salary so what is a solution so one function is there and flush so that is a clear the buffer is overflow so that to solve the flushing flush means clear the buffer so our problem is solved so i know very well that is creating get as function sometime problem so not uh, directly id scan and jump to the basic salary so what is a solution so we can take the flush and then std in standard input that is a bytes okay and in string and collection of uh, that uh, bytes known as a string so std in that is a stream uh, that data type file uh, structure is there and now what to do so yes so that is a three time uh, uh, loop is repeat but uh, p is a pointer and then we can uh, that uh, in next record we can move so that is a scalar value so here our uh, one record 36 byte and then pointer is a P plus plus so that uh, next uh, 36 byte the first byte that to pass so here at P plus plus so 36 byte that jumping means uh, shifting so because that is a one record holding we have to see your calculation that 36 byte require for one record of employee ID name basic salary DHR all are one record and that is 36 byte so here we can P plus plus so that is jump 36 byte and that uh, concept known as a scalar value of pointer or we can say that in pointer concept scalar value so that is a pointer is a always refer that data type so either your structure is a user defined data type and here that is a number of uh, bytes we have to specify to ourselves because integer character float all are and one record that 36 byte is holding so p plus plus so 36 byte that move and then our second record is a scan. So yes, I think you have to understand. So yes, so three time loop repeat and that uh, last P plus plus is after the four record that P plus plus. So again, we can print. So how we can print. 
so again we can assign p equal to uh, i so that is come to is the first zero bytes element and now we can print to our record yes so that is a necessary otherwise uh, that not perfectly print some garbage value is print so again we can initialize p equal to e because rnm itself store the zero byte or first byte of address so p is a plus plus so that is a at the three record scan that last fourth record but fourth record we have to not take in and p is a go in the first record zero byte that starting but now we can print our first record starting so we can assign again p equal to e so that come to first record and print our complete perfectly otherwise that uh, taking some garbage value okay so yes now i uh, yes here we can also copy the message so that not enter but we can print so outside the for loop so here we can say that uh, mm, yes uh, i remove this and enter is remove also word so three employee information uh, as or we can say that three employee information are or as following word you can also use so three employee information just to be able to take and then uh, here i use the lining so yes uh, that symbol that and line we have to provide okay and then and slash n is required to post so so that next line and then you can print the record but printing the record we can give the heading because three employee information is print so here we can provide again slash n and that symbol and then we can print first id then name of employee so here i give the slash t and name okay and yes here is not required here is uh, after name print because name is so long uh, means uh, any new long name so that next is a basic salary and then we can say that ba dearness allowance then hra then and gross salary yes and then again we can uh, yes here already slash and so yes i copy this line and we can table format yes we can print in table format so yes that slash and again and then print yes so yes here we can also start uh, to printing so yes uh, here we can say that not uh, only percentage d so here is already there so we can print our first member and that is a id yes here so one is print and we can use only one uh, print app so percentage s and then i remove the message all this and yes i remove fast okay so flush is also not required yes name only so that second and then in between slash t here and then percentage d because that salary basic salary is print so i remove the message and now come to our third member and then yes so third member is come so here we can some blank and percentage dot two f because that float data type and after decimal point there are only uh, two is printed so yes i remove the brass brass is not required to here and yes uh, that all are perfectly but uh, our next member yes uh, ba or we can calculate some but uh, it's remaining so we can first print just that da dearness alone so that is a float then we can say that uh, hra and last is a gross salary so we can find and then print so yes uh, here we can only one gap and then percentage dot 2f and last that our base uh, gross salary percentage 2f and how calculate so here we can directly calculate so yes uh, that p and that da so we can assign like a p of basic salary multiply five percentage we can fix and divide by 100 so you can look here all our integer basic salary and pi and 100 so uh, that we needed the type custom so here i first give the best so multiplication division and here require the float that uh, one instruction pass to compiler so only for calculation basic salary is considered to the float data type but its original data type is integer that not change so only one instruction passed by compiler in alu arithmetic and logic unit for uh, ba calculation you can 
consider the basic salary is a floor data type, but that original data type is integer, that not change. Only for calculate for BA. So BA is a high percentage of basic salary. That is our assumption. You can give any percentage to your requirement. Okay, now same way we can find, but uh, HRA, but here I not type casting directly what to do. So like uh, HRA, uh, yes, the first basic salary and multiply 0 0.07. So by directly I divide by 100. So you can also use this technique in here, but I both show you two, two techniques. So here is type casting is needed, here is not required because here one member is already float. Here what to do? All member in the, um, we can say that in left hand side, all member is an integer. So we can require the type casting. Otherwise float data type not come to picture means result is not come to float data type, integer data type. So fraction part is truncated because we can assign the all our uh, here is a uh, that uh, integer. So float result we have to require. So we can require the type casting. But here we can one member is already float data type. So here no need at the type casting. Just so we can calculate. And now last our gross salary. So that is very simple. We can all our plus like basic salary plus uh, our DA dearness allowance and last our uh, HRA, house rate allowance, okay, that allowance is uh, needed, uh, means uh, provided by company in employee for their, their employee. So yes, uh, here we can just assumption, here. yes, I save this file. So here we can pointer and structure, yes, uh, uh, yes, S-E-R-U, but uh, that uh, file name is already there. Um, so here I remove the, the directly. So maximum we can eight characters. So pointer and that three and seven character. So yes, I give some underscore is hello, but uh, that file name is already there. So I give other names. So pointer structure and P O I N. Yes, point struct dot C. Maximum eight character we have to provide. So yes, that save and yes, let us check any. Uh, and yes, here you can provide the get ch and then I think semicolon is remaining in main breast. Yes, let us check. So yes, we are not semicolon. So yes, uh, first I save and compile. Yes, any error is one. So yes, semicolon only. Okay, so no problem. Very simple that our. So now yes, perfectly. And one record how many that bytes and here we can provide the flash end. So yes, uh, we can hear and hear also because that uh, next record here is the enter ID and all our next line. Okay, and here we can provide all our yes slash n yes, and here we can also provide so that uh, all value will come to x because there are three employee information. So yes, all are I think perfect. Let us check, but directly in table format not giving perfect output. We can. Uh, check to testing and then again printing that is a subject of table format is uh, directly we can not take our requirement output but uh, we can check and then adjust our value and heading that is a subject of testing okay so let us check i also provide the after uh, means that uh, line of table so let us check that perfectly print or some change is also required so yes, look, one record 36 bytes, that print by size of operator. Uh, we can perfect calculate to ourselves. So we can first previously ourselves calculate and then giving the answer of size of operator. So enter three employee information that uh, cursor is blinking, waiting for our response. So I pre uh, give one employee ID, that ID, and then we can the name just perfectly scan we can use the app flush function otherwise that directly jump to basic salary so you can testing to yourself that is a, i already see so that sometimes means uh, every time i think must be that uh, taking the buffer is overflowing character one day or data or character that flush function we have to use so buffer is clean and our perfectly uh, scan is perfectly done okay so i here give 1000 and second employee that uh, loop, loop is repetition and then second that our employee and then 2000 yes and then last third because we have to provide only one dra3 and we can use pointer of structure area of structure is also there but we can address of a pointer and array so 
uh, you can watch my video array and pointer is a close concept array without pointer and pointer without array we cannot understand perfectly so one youtube channel uh, my academic of uh, ashok sijal academy you can watch one video array and pointer how perfectly work so i give the ninth way print the 1d array using pointer so you can watch must be very uh, important for your knowledge yes so yes our last name yes i just give the idea so yes here 3000 yes that perfectly but uh, some that value we can require some blank other otherwise that all are yes uh, in the label and heading are like perfect but we can take our uh, value to in table yes so here we can provide and last we can also provide uh, that symbol so that look perfectly so we can shift things so otherwise all our value perfectly so yes now value table is perfectly and then we can provide yes here here we can provide that symbol in beginning so here last we can also provide so yes i give the symbol and yes that directly not come to perfectly yes let us check how many blank yes so and then value yes so here that directly so here we can also provide that symbol yes and at last we can also provide that symbol so every time last time and then yes uh, here we can uh, roll number is a in inside and tab is needed so let us take i give the tab so that all value is shifting so let us check that uh, perfectly print or not so that is only subject to adjust your value adjust your heading and then checking that is only one way because uh, we cannot directly perfect our requirement table is printed so let us check again so i give the same value because we have to check the uh, that table so yes so uh, and then 2000 and third employee that name and then 3000 yes so perfectly but uh, that uh, yes or that uh, out of basic salary da some heading we can shifting and then okay otherwise all are perfectly so yes the name we have to not provide the tab so all are disturbed but otherwise all are perfectly printed and heading we can some is change is required okay but otherwise that all are perfectly printed so that is a subject of testing and printing yes so only we can test and check yes that all are perfectly print or not so yes i give all here remove and tab yes so let us check i remove that all blank three or four and here we can provide the tab all so let us check that perfectly or not okay and here i remove the tab and let's check uh, so all are not tab but uh, some required tab because here is a flow data type so already that value is a very uh, large means that after decimal we can control only two digit but uh, six digit that long so yes i not sure to directly jump to a require output so that is a subject of you can uh, adjust your heading and adjust your value so try and try and then you can succeed so that type of the table format directly yes so yes so that was to record how but other, okay so that i knew in before or after that yes otherwise all are perfect and our last tab is not requiring that slash are going in outside Yes, but first record yes why that not giving the tab so yes uh, here we can yes so uh, what is uh, first record not giving the tab yes that name and basic salary so here is name and basic salary so first record why not giving the tab and second record that start and here we cannot provide this uh, slash t that go on to outside so yes here yes 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 here last time that come and then giving the tab so i think that is a shifting otherwise here yes, let us check so name after that basic salary is a first record net shifting 
Yes. So, okay, I think that is a, we have to already provide the slash T. So, first record that start directly, so no problem. So, yes, let I check last, last time. So, that is only subject to testing and checking. So, last time we have to try it by not sure to directly come to a require output because that is a, uh, we cannot see after all our scan value and you can see your output. So, yes, that the uh, sum is perfectly and sum is not perfectly. Yes, so uh, in li lining, we can also provide some more because that uh, basic salary or gross salary is out of table. And name and cost record why that uh, perfectly not give provide the slash T. So yes, let us check that what happens. So here we can, yes, heading is a, yes, and we can provide the line some T. Yes, I also here. Yes, that one and here also. I think that's one. Okay, all are. And here slash T name after T and here also T. So both we have to provide. So let us check that the first record that name and basic cell is that not provide the slash T. Yes, but here we to here we have to provide already. So why cannot apply? So here we can provide that starting first record that provide the slash t. Otherwise, that all not perfectly. So here now move this from blank and I think that perfectly. Yes, let us check. Yes. So, mm, Okay, so let us, uh, yes. So now I, here fix, yes. So here is slash T, here is slash T. Yes, I make just here. Okay, now that perfectly. So I not testing other record because we can take so many times. So yes, we cannot waste to our station too long. So here I now complete. So uh, yes, all are perfectly. That is our target, not table format also we can print, but uh, here our main concept is a pointer of structure. That is only formatting, but that is concept first clear, and then we can go in formatting. So yes, pointer of structure, we have to clear our concept. So here I summarize. So 1D array and then array name itself that store the first byte, zero byte. And let us check, I assign that type of also. Let us, any error. So yes, I also same that term is uh, yes here uh, that zero byte address. So that is same meaning because uh, e e means array name that employee and that store the first byte address. So you can also assign and here we can assign this type of and here we can assign of this. So both we have to use. So both statement is equal. So yes, compile and run last time. So we can also check our uh, our formatting. Yes, 2000 and third and then mm, only four character beta and 3000. Yes. So, yes, that perfectly, but uh, yes, so all are perfectly, but uh, first record, yes, that also the taking same slash t is not provided. So, and here, yes, so. So here we can shift this, yes. So here we can also provide some time. So, and here, first record, yes. So, first record start. So, this that slash t is not provided. So, here, why that slash t is perfectly? Here we can slash t perfectly. So, we not first record not taking. So, yes, here is problem anywhere? No. So, all are perfectly. We have to done. Okay, so that is a table formatting. So that is a testing and printing. Yes, now I think, okay. So here we can provide one blank and then yes, for, so yes, let us take uh, name. Yes, uh, what is name and basic salary? Yes, so name and basic salary is there. So name and basic salary, already we have to provide slash T. Okay, 
so here is not required i think otherwise all are disturbed so yes that perfectly we cannot uh, test i uh, next time because we don't all see so here we can use pointer of structure and you know, print yes that very important size of we can calculate one record how many size and yes here we can pass also tag name yes let us check that work yes that not perfectly undefined symbol yes that we can pass also stock or you can also use the uh, size of keyword so yes uh, let us check so here we can also pass the structure then and then that consider the variable yes that no error and let us check uh, yes so there are 36 so you can also pass the structure name so that uh, taking 36 and you can also use the type def keyword yes let us check we can also use and again i now be and testing so because we have already three or four time giving the output so let us check last time because uh, yes okay so here float yes that is a uh, three employee but now look our all are perfectly printed first record now giving the tab but here gross salary is a not because that float data type so here why that output is a uh, wrong because uh, float data type is not supported by structure so that is sometime happening so what the uh, solution of this we our gross salary is now in not applicable means that n a n n a n minus so that is a one solution and also let us i use type def keyword so first we can solve yes so what is a solution so here we can provide one user defined link float yes that is a only uh, float data type linking that uh, sometimes uh, float data type not support structure so what do? so float and here we can give like uh, that uh, pi or that value uh, 14 and 15 i think so that value and we can take one pointer of float e okay and then p assigned to uh yes p equal to m person uh yes here both are p so x yes here we can assign the x or you can give here or any no problem so here x yes any value so that is a call by itself we cannot call this function that is a user defined function and we can link the float yes that name is a link float so yes uh, that uh, only purpose to our gross salary is not print. You look in our previously output. So gross salary is not printed. Okay. So here we can linking purpose use this function. So at call itself, we cannot call this function. So whenever float come to that type creating error, so float data type uh, structure is not supported perfectly. So that is a solution. Yes, that is a solution. So that is only linking that require only and we cannot call whenever float data type come to picture that uh, calling itself and our problem is solved that our gross salary here creating problem is not perfectly print so yes that perfectly print and here i remove the two blank so that outside of table one two yes let us check yes only two and all our other i think well because that uh, all value so yes, here is there. Outside or inside, yes, so we can remove two or one blank. Okay, not yes. Let us check. So yes, and also we can use type def keyword. How work? So there are two technique, but uh, I already cover in my YouTube channel. So type uh, def yes, but here you cannot provide because we can already declare the variable. So here I use second technique first technique here not to use so type def and structure keyword stock and emp and n emp that is our new name so type def keyword used for existing data type here uh, structure is user defined data type and new emp that is a name and now you can declare like here we can like integer i and here i e uh, that n emp and declare like uh, e1 so that is a like normal integer uh, i or x variable view to declare that also user defined data type you can declare your uh, structure variable same that inbuilt data type that possible in user defined data type this statement so that is a use of structure I means uh, type def keyword 
and structure is a user defined data type so here you can not uh, like uh, this type of long structure and emp that all tag name and keyword structure so directly you can provide the end name like uh, and i remove this structure so that perfectly works so yes uh, here e1 is not require a just comment line because we have to array of structure and pointer array of pointer also so now let us compile no any error but here the p assign never in that warning that's not our requirement so yes let us take uh, with that print uh, perfectly means our gross salary or not so that is a main so sometimes structure is not supported float data type so that is a we can provide one udf and that link float only for linking the float float data type to structure with structure yes so let us check that perfectly print yes now printed perfectly so look previously not printed now that perfectly print so what is so that is a link float that our function is linking to structure as a float data type so sometimes that creating problems so yes uh, that we can give the solution okay so yes our table heading we can give the center three employee information so now the table is perfect because that depend on the value so that uh, clash is that value is uh, some three digit and some two digit in our hrm so that uh, the table means that line uh, in outside or inside here first is a uh, perfectly out uh, right inside that disturb to our table so depend upon your value because that is not a so you can also remove not uh, giving this value that perfectly in table format so yes i what is so here yes i give the slash t and slash t so yes two or two five yes let us check how many requires so i think two we can sufficient okay no three we have to provide and yes i remove this symbol yes that disturb to our this is not perfectly you know. so yes i yes let us check that uh, yes our heading that uh, perfectly but in below the that left side all are disturbed and also you can provide in between so yes here is a perfectly print so here we cannot disturb but here in value that uh, two digit or three digit that are not perfectly print so i remove this okay. so yes so that is so many blank so here here not required now yes and after table is perfectly yes that uh, so in between we have to not provide a uh, means this space so yes and one warning because we have to p assign value but not never but that not our goal that is our linking the float data type in structure so yes i uh, previously said that is last time but we have to check new concepts so i again run yes and the and see i give the same value yes so look that uh, perfectly now so all are perfectly printed okay some is not perfectly but uh, we cannot uh, that is a happening so yes sometime they are taking the slash and sometime not taking the slash and so yes here i already remove so that uh, yes i here is a required as symbol i remove yes now i not uh, taking again compile but uh, we can all uh, use the type def keyword and also how one record yes i summarize so that is a size of keyword and we can print the one record of employee that uh, all size we have to calculate ourselves and also we print that one record size and that is a both statement p assign first byte means zero of index and also you can rn and store the first byte of element base address that known as a base address so both statement we can use so here what why require this statement again so p is a plus plus and 36 byte jump that known as a scalar value in pointer concept so here that uh, third time scanning our third employee so that pointer is come to the uh, second rep, fourth record starting position so again we can take in the first record position so then and then our perfectly our record is a printing yes i think you would understand so yes uh, write this program to pointer of structure or we can say that array of structure and array within a structure all are in one program and also use the type def keyword uh, size of operator 
table format so so many important point in this session so yes all are right in your c programming notes now i close this session so here we can so many testing for uh, perfect uh, table info format printing output and our size of operator type depth keyword and our require output and also pointer to structure yes that also means uh, array of pointer array of pointer and array of for structure also we can say that because array of structure assigned to the pointer variable and pointer of structure or pointer to structure that also known as so yes i close this and that is very important yes we have to not call this function link float so uh, that sometime float data type not supported by structure so we can only linking purpose our output is disturbed means not perfectly print so link float data type is not supported by structure so that is solve this function itself not our calling ourselves so whenever that uh, giving the float data type print like our gross salary or dhra that is automatically call this function and our float data type is a perfectly work okay so now i close alter f3 yes and quit so yes subscribe my channel ashok sija like me press the bell icon to never miss any update and thanks for your watching supporting and sharing my video lecture and hari krishna